Hi, welcome to the Organic Kitchen. I'm Linda Spiker, and today I'm going to teach you how to carve a roasted chicken. So this is the Organic Kitchen Lemon Garlic Herb de Provence Roasted Chicken. And it's beautiful and delicious, and it's definitely a family favorite of ours. So we're going to start by taking off this little silicone rubber band that I used to tie the legs of our chicken instead of trussing string. It's kind of a handy little item to have because you can reuse it and rewash it and it's safe up to 500 degrees. Um, so when people roast a chicken, often they roast this beautiful chicken and then they go to carve it and they end up ripping it to shreds. So I thought I would do a little video tutorial so that people can have a beautiful roasted chicken and then make sure it looks as beautiful on the plate as it looks when it came out of the oven. The first thing we're going to do is let our chicken rest for 10 minutes after it roasts. This redistributes the juices so the chicken is moister. It also makes it slightly cooler so it's easier for you to handle. We're going to start at the thigh, cutting through the skin, and this chicken is so tender, this thigh should pretty much just come away um, and separate at the joint all by itself. If you use your knife to cut through the meat, the joint should come apart fairly easy, like so. And we'll just take the whole leg and thigh together and put it on our platter. Then we go to the wing and we go about an inch into our breast so that our wing has some breast meat on it. And again, we wanna find that joint and kind of use our knife and our fork to separate it right at the joint, like so. And then we have a wing piece with some breast meat on it. And now we're going to carve the breast of the chicken. So what we wanna do is find that cartilage that runs down the middle of the chicken. And we're going to cut just to the side of it. And we're going to cut our breast piece off in one whole piece. So you kind of just have to work around the ribs and the wishbone and then remove the chicken from the ribs in one piece. This is probably the trickiest part of the process because the skin has a tendency to stick to the rest of the chicken. So we have this beautiful full breast of chicken. We're going to cut it in half keeping skin on both pieces. So you have two servings of chicken breast with the skin on. Then we will turn our chicken around and repeat the same process, cutting through the skin on the thigh, separating the thigh from the rest of the chicken, trying to find that joint, and just using your knife to cut through the meat and that joint basically just pops off and this is going to be a really tender chicken. If this happens and your skin kind of slides off, don't panic, you can always just move it back up onto the chicken. So now we're going to separate the wing, cutting an inch into the wing, like so, finding that joint, using our fork to kind of separate it and separating our wing from the breast. And then again, coming to the side of that cartilage and cutting through the breast, removing it from the ribs in one piece, cutting through the skin, otherwise you'll lose that skin, setting it down. And then we can cut that breast in half. So again, we have two portions with skin on. And now you have a beautifully carved chicken. And then any meat that's left on the bones, you can just sort of pick through and pull off the bone. All right, so we have our beautiful carved roasted chicken, but we have these drippings and these shallots left in our um, roasting dish. So we're going to not let those go to waste. And we're going to pour them right over our beautiful roasted chicken. So we have all these amazing juices and the flavors from the shallots. And voila. Now you know how to carve a chicken, and serve it so it looks as beautiful as it's going to taste. Please visit our online store, theorganickitchenstore.com for more tutorials and to view our online store. Thanks for stopping by.